In this video, we want to talk about how to remember the distributive properties of sets. In other words, equations like these two here. Now, you might have found yourself at one point or another dealing with something like this and trying to go through it thinking about the meaning of these symbols and thinking, okay, if there's something in this set, in other words, in A intersect B union C, then that means X must be in A and it's in the union of B and C, which means it could be in the an A intersect B uh, or it could be in A intersect C. Right? Okay, if you've ever found yourself in that situation, then what you're basically doing is deriving this identity every time you use it. And this video is about having a simple mechanical method for performing this operation. And the reason that it might seem difficult is because we don't usually deal with different versions of the distributive property, right? Here, the intersection could be on the outside, and the union is on the inside. Or the union could be on the outside, and the intersection is on the inside. Usually, when dealing with the distributive property, namely with multiplication and addition, we have something like this, right? 3 times 7 plus 4. And we all know what that means. That means 3 times 7 plus 3 times 4, right? We never deal with the situation where these two things are swapped. So we've never really been forced to understand what's going on here. In other words, we never are in the situation where we have something like this supposedly meaning 3 plus 7 uh, that would be times and then 3 plus 4. Right? We're never in that situation because this is simply wrong. Right? If we add that up, we get 3 plus 28. We get here 31. And on the right side, we have uh, 10 times 7 be 70. Right? That is simply incorrect. We've never really had to understand because we only ever see one version. We think of this as multiplying it out, as it were. And while that's true, uh, it's mostly probably been learned by habit. If, however, we think of the meaning of this word distributive, that just means to be giving something to somebody else, right? Or putting it in a different place, then we can come up with a way of dealing with these equations easily. So let's take our number example again and just look at it from a bit of a different angle. Instead of just using our habit of multiplying this out, I'm going to give myself some space here and just write the same example again. So 3 times 7 plus 4. Actually, all that means to distribute is that I'm going to distribute these two symbols, the 3 and the dot. I'm going to distribute it to the 7 and I'm going to distribute it to the 4, right? So I could do that by a simple copy-paste operation, right? I'm going to copy that and paste it here, and I'm going to copy that and paste it here. In other words, I'm going to distribute this 3 to the 7 and to the 4, and then I could add some parentheses just for clarity if I wanted, although it wouldn't strictly speaking be necessary here, right, since we all know that there's a uh, preference for multiplication first and, and then addition. But just for clarity, I could add these parentheses if I needed to. Okay, so in other words, that is using the idea of distribution. I'm just dis distributing this 3 and the dot to each one of these numbers. Right? So now we can just do the exact same thing with the set operations and not thinking at all about the meaning. Now, of course, I'm not saying it's bad to think about the meaning, but think honestly. Do you think about the meaning when you're doing this, right? You just know how to do it, and you do it. So, 
what we want to do here, and, and I'll, I'll give myself some space again, is uh, just distribute these two symbols here. So I'll just do a copy paste. We'll distribute these two here, and we'll distribute these two here. Right. And again, I can add my parentheses for clarity. Here I do actually need them for clarity, and I'm done. We can do another example. We could say A intersect B, and this time the parentheses are over on the left, uh, union C. And again, I'll give myself some space. Let's say A, and then I have uh, intersect B, union C. That simply means I'm going to do a copy-paste, distributing this to that, and distributing this to that, and adding my parentheses, and I'm done. So now we have a way of mechanically carrying it out this operation, which is fast and reliable, without having to derive each one of these distributive properties of sets every time we use them.